Just let me begin, and I, I'll only speak briefly, and I'm happy to take questions, by sharing the sense of abandonment that Afghans continue to feel, especially Afghan women and girls. Uh, they didn't expect support in perpetuity from the international community, but nor did they expect to be dropped off a cliff 14 months ago. I participated in uh, an interactive... Um, first of all is the uh, huge regression in the rights of women and girls. The reversal is probably unprecedented in history. Uh, it's in a way even greater than in 96 because of the gains that had been made over 20 years after the formation of the Republic in 2001. It's a huge setback. For, on, uh, for them. There's been huge clampdowns um, on media. Um, uh, there is a humanitarian uh, a crisis and there's long-standing impunity and lack of accountability. We should not forget that this is a country that has experienced more than four decades of conf conflict, nor should we underestimate the damage that that conflict has wrought on the people and social fabric of, of the country. And also, if you don't mind... I'd and speaking to Afghans, um, they really feel that the attention is much more in other places, in particular Ukraine. They feel that they've been rather forgotten and abandoned since then. So I see it as part of my job to help put the spotlight back on Afghanistan and not always to do the speaking for Afghans. I want Afghans to speak for themselves. Thank you, Michel. Thank you.